Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. First of all, I would like to apologize for everybody that I have taken this long to drop a new video. It's been about a week. Uh, typically, I'd like to drop a couple per week. So that way, I'm providing you with up-to-date information, uh, sharing with you what I've learned, etc. This time, it took longer because I've been busy. I do apologize. I made some time today. So uh, let's get into it. So that way, I can share with you what I have learned. Now, some of you may have seen that uh, once your harvest is ready, you know, like let's say this is 41 out of 42, you click on the 42nd claim or um, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, when you're claiming for the 42nd time, one plot disappears. Then you come over here to your chest and then you'll be able to see that you gained whatever it is that the reward was, whether it's corn, barley, milk, etc., eggs you would see it right here and it would say exchange because once you click exchange it's going to give you gold for each one so for this is 38 i would have to do it 38 times for the bulk burn you would come to your atomic hub account and you would just select everything that you want you know you have to be careful though the more you have the more it's going to chew your cpu so you're going to have to kind of play it by ear do one and check your cpu do a couple and check your cpu um and then uh, you'll know how much room you have to work with but anyway that's the idea of bulk burning you know you go like this you choose a bunch and then you click this action button right here at the very top of them and you'll say transfer and then you say farmers world to where it's going to and for uh, the exchange into gold, you put burn because that's exactly what you're doing. You're burning the NFTs you created when you gained the award. And now you're burning it because you're getting gold out of it. You're exchanging it. It's not going to exist anymore. That's what you would do in the in, uh, if you're trying to bulk burn as opposed to clicking it once at a time uh, over here. One, then come back after it refreshes. Two, uh -uh. that's the idea of a bulk burn. Okay, eyes on the CPU. That's the main thing. All right. Now, in the case that, okay, I went ahead, I collected what I wanted to collect. Now I want to plant some more seeds in those empty plots that I just harvested. You know, typically what I like to do is come over here to the market, choose the seed that I want, click it a bunch of times, the number that I want, which is usually eight. Okay. And then I purchase. Once you purchase it, it'll deduct the gold. Okay, and then once you come to your chest, you're going to see the amount of seeds that you had over here populate along with a picture of it. All right, now, I wanted to plant, but I planted one, and then it was taking forever for the information to refresh to reflect that I have seven left because one is already planted. So every time I click, it's not knowing that. It just gives me an error message. It frustrated me. I was doing that for 30 minutes and it was still giving me that error message. So I figured it has to be um, something on the server side because I don't know, maybe they're having heavy traffic and it's not refreshing fast enough. Regardless, it got me thinking if I could do that with the bulk burn and then it affects what I have in the chest and it has it do an action. What about if, um, if I come to, uh, Atomic Hub, all right, and I wanted to test it with one seed to make sure it works. So I came here and I, I apologize. I recorded the video, but there was something wrong with the video and I couldn't use it. So I'm using, we're going to have to use our imagination for just a bit over here. Let's pretend that this is a seed. Let's pretend the first row is all seeds. All right, so you can click all of them and then you're going to have this action button appear once you click on any of those you're going to click it and you're going to say transfer all right once you click transfer and remember we're talking about a seed that you are trying to plant in your plot you come over here and you'll write farmers world and i know it's farmers world what i have to put over here because if i come to my blocks account we can take a look at let's open any one of these guys um and it says the contract is farmer's world it's telling us who it is so that's how it is spelled out you can, if you're not sure if you're afraid to misspell it you copy and paste 
But anyway, so farmer's world, we put that over here. And now, okay, now when I said bulk burn, remember the keyword was burn. All right, we're burning the NFTs we created when we got the, the, the reward, the award, whatever. All right, so we're burning those. Uh, first, we're creating those NFTs, and now we're going to burn it. And in exchange for burning it, we're going to get the gold. We're not doing that over here. What we're trying to do in this instant is to take it from one part of the game, which is the chest, and we're going to send it over to the farm so that it could be planted. That's not burning. What I have learned is it's called staking because after I did the first one and then it got stuck, I came over here, I refreshed to see what action was taken, uh, and I looked at it and it said stake. So I learned that that action is actually staking the NFT. So while it is on the front, a game, it's actually, um, you, you know, it's, it's, it's actually working on the blockchain as it's supposed to, but we get to enjoy it as a game. Anyway, let's get back to it. So over here, we come back to this. We'll just say stake. That's the memo just like we did before now here's the thing that i've learned by mis you know by trial and error all right so i had five first well no i mean first of all i tried with one it worked i said you know what let's get greedy let's plant all of them together so i chose all of the seeds and then i came over here and i said send it gave me an error message saying you cannot send more than one so basically when you're staking you can only do one at a time, even though you're doing it from here. When you're burning, which is exchanging for gold, then yeah, you can do as many as you want, as long as it doesn't turn out your CPU. So over here, I just had to go back and say, all right, unclick all of the other ones and just do it one at a time. Now I understand that you're doing it one at a time here and you're doing it one at a time when you're working out of the chest of the game. The problem is if you do encounter an error like mine, this will come in very handy because it worked instantly. I did not have any issues whatsoever. I, for, I tried to do it uh, five in a row. It didn't work. I was like, All right, fine, that's fine. If I have to do it one at a time, so be it. So I just did it one at a time. And sure enough, every single time without errors, without issues at all, I came here. I saw the, the, the number got subtracted by one. I looked at my plots, it got added by one, which means the seed was planted. Then I went back. Then I repeated those steps. Holy moly. So I repeated those steps uh, until I had all of these puppies planted. So that covers that. Um, let's see. Now, one more quick thing I do want to discuss. You know, since we're being technical over here, uh, I want to add a quick note. I strongly recommend that everybody playing this game get familiar with the type of actions each button does. When you click claim, come to your blocks.io account and take a look at it. See what it says. Get familiar with it. You know, see the description. You can click on it on the transaction. See how much CB, uh, CPU it uses. You know, it shows you the net. Um, it has some useful information. Get familiar with those. Uh, so this will help you decide how to uh, be more strategic about claiming certain things. Like you don't want to go too happy, you know, like trigger happy, uh, getting five energy or two energy just to fill it up. No, save it and just do it all at once when you have to. Th those types of things.